Welcome everybody, Danny Wanda, back from Pecan Grove. Thought we'd give you just a brief tour of our little small garden here at uh, Pecan Grove. Uh, as y'all know, this is what we call our 60 foot raised bed. Because of the success that I'm having with the raised bed, in the near future, I may very well put more of them down through here because they're very low maintenance. Um, as you see, we got the onions here that we got from Dixondale. This end was the Texas Legends. This end up here is a red bell, a, a red creole, I'm sorry. And guys, they look pitiful. Uh, I'm not saying it has anything to do with Dixondale. The weather has been horrible this year for onions. I have never in my life grown onions with this kind of problem. I don't know what has happened this year, but it got they got froze back to the ground almost. Plus we got a late start. That was another thing. So it is what it is. Uh, we planted some tomatoes in here. The early girl tomatoes got planted in amongst the onions. This one here is actually beginning to bloom in the top. So the onions in them go together really well. And when you come down here, we just got through harvesting some carrots. And guys, the carrots are doing fairly well. We'll be eating on them probably daily now for the next several months. We've taken out most all of our cabbages here except one's left. And what I've done was I come in before we took the cabbages out and I started planting my tomato plants in here because cabbages and tomatoes go together. Uh, got a little weeding to do, but hey, it's a raised bed. It'll be really simple to do. I've actually got some garlic, uh, elephant garlic planted along in here with it just to help be an insect deterrent to the tomatoes. This is our multiplying onion. They're at the end of their life cycle. They're fixing to start going to seed on the top of all of them. This is an old timey heirloom onion. When they go to seed, you know, the seed will fall. And plus we'll have plenty of multiplying onions this summer once they come back. Down here is our white German garlic. Now it's probably not a long way from being harvested. It has got some uh, seed tops that's fixing to come out here on it. Like here's one coming out right here. What I'll do is, this is like a skate. I will come in here, I'll take the top out of it. Now this is edible, you don't have to throw it away. It is edible. Uh, we, can, we can save that to use for garlic seasoning. And I will go through and watch as they all begin to put these skates on. When they do, if you take them out, then the, the uh, the growth goes to the bulb in the bottom down there. Right here we have our uh, little marble English peas down through here. They, uh, they're they doing fairly well. We come back every so often because the wind blows so hard. And we try to stand them up to help them get trained. Because once the trendles start grabbing onto that wire, it's, they're, they're gone then. It's, it's, a, it's a done deal. And if you're interested in growing the English peas, I also have a manual that I have written. Uh, at uh, our Etsy store, you can purchase it, uh, deepsouthhomestead.etsy.com. You can look at the manual. We also have a carrot manual there where we just looked at the carrots. Uh, you can purchase that carrot manual there too, and a sweet potato manual if you're interested in growing any of those vegetables. Now here I just planted some elephant garlic here a while back. I got to get in here and fertilize them, weed them, and I think that once the warm weather comes along, they're probably gonna kick in and take off. Now here we have a trellis that we've installed here. We have the National Pickling uh, Cucumbers. We put three on this side, and we actually have three or four on this side over here to run up over this for our cucumbers. This will be more than enough cucumbers if they bear like they're supposed to. This will be more cucumbers than one than I will even need this year. Then, we've got this here where the wind has been our enemy. Uh, we've got our squash here. Now, I don't know if this one of the planted bees. Straight neck. The yellow straight neck? Yes. So we've got six plants right here in between the two hoops. On this hoop here, we have two early girl tomatoes growing right here on this end. Are these indeterminate? Yes, these are indeterminate. And on this end here, I had two early girls over here. But for some reason, the one that was on this side right here just died. 
but this one is still growing so we'll let it continue to grow up on this end here okay this is our uh our red um nor uh red lasotas we save these year after year after year mm -hmm. since we got our walk-in cooler it makes it a whole lot easier for us to keep our potatoes and the potato row that's right below it here is our french fingerlings we save them every year so that we get them acclimated to our climate and they do fantastic here these as you can see are up to my knees they're about maybe two foot tall down through here um, they've already been healed up i'm gonna probably fertilize them one more time and throw a little bit more dirt to them and that will be it for the season Now this right here is our jungle peanuts. Now some of them have come up and some of them have not. This one right here just came up today. I see it right here. They're very hard to see when they first come up. This is not like your regular peanuts. So these peanuts were from 2016, still in the freezer. We, we actually didn't know they were even in there. I was digging through the freezer and found them. And I decided, hey, Let's take them and plant them. Let's see if peanuts from 2016 left in a deep freeze will still come up. Well, guys, they're coming up all down through here. I mean, they are literally all coming up. Now, some of them come up earlier than others because some of them I may have got a little too deep, and it just took a little time for them to come up. But they are coming up down through here. There's one of them right here that's just now starting to pop through the ground right there. So we'll leave it. Now my... Cherokee yellow snap beans, some of them came up, some of them didn't. We had a hard rain, we've had some really cold weather, and uh, the ones that came up are doing okay. Ms. Wanda went back and replanted in between them, so any day now, once it starts warming up, we kind of expect them to go ahead and pop on through, and then we'll have a, a fairly decent stand. Now, some of them will be ahead of the others, we know that, but we're perfectly okay with that because... It just means we get to harvest a little bit longer. It's coming up. I see it right now. You got corn? Let's look right here. Right there. Right here. Right here. Right here. Wow. I mean, That's right tiny. there. It's tiny, but it's there. Okay. You got corn. I have sweet corn. Yes, I have three rows of it here. Um, this is our no-till. I just took a hoe and chopped through the ground, you know. Can't get a tractor in here, so we'll kind of see how the no-till deal works out. Uh, and, of course, those of you who haven't watched this, this is the Stoil Evergreen variety. It is an heirloom. That's what we wanted to make sure that we had was, a, was an heirloom. We've planted this one for years and years, and we love them. Well, guys, here's our rutabagas. Uh, we had a few aphids hit them, so Wanda and I, let me show you what we've done here. We pulled up a few of them, got some small rutabagas. Hey, we'll take it. Look at that. We'll go eat them because the aphids was done. Got a little section of them right here. They had kind of got them. And uh, I see some out there that's like twice the size of this. Pull you one. Uh, well, you might set. I'm going to set the dog barking thing off if I do. Um, okay, so he's going to pull one. I'm going to pull one, and I'm going to show you what our uh, deer deterrent system sounds like. Because we've been avoiding them the whole time we've been out here with this video, but now I'm fixing to walk in front of it and give you guys an idea of what it sounds like. Well, what do you think about my deer deterrent system? And a human deterrent. If you wasn't expecting it, it would, uh, it scared a fool out of you. Even when we know it's there. How many people you done scared with that? Oh, I done scared several people with it. Including me? Yeah, including with Wanda. And uh, I know it's there. <laughs> even though you know it's there, it will still get you. But here's, I want to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at. See up under here, we got, now this one's not bad, but we got a little bit of an aphid issue up under there. Uh, see how they, 
mess with the leaves up under here, the different little aphids and everything. And they're just... So we'll, we'll feed these to the chickens and we'll... We'll eat the... We're going to eat this little root here. This is a purple top rutabaga. Well, guys, we didn't harvest a massive amount today, but the whole idea, as I told you before, our harvest is about daily. We want to be able to come out every day and get something fresh out of the garden to eat. We have garlic scapes, we have rutabagas, we have carrots. Uh, over at Deep South, when we was over there, we picked uh, strawberries, asparagus, spinach. Um, so we have an assortment of stuff that we can use in our meals for this day. To add with the stuff we already have canned, uh, the fresh beef that we butcher all the time. So we really have an assortment of stuff here. Plus, we have other things coming on, like the bulb onions will come on. We have the garlic coming on. Uh, we did a cabbage. We got a cabbage a while ago uh, that we'll be eating. We have tomatoes coming on. We have potatoes back here coming on. Uh, snap beans, a, ye a turkey, yellow wax beans coming on. We have sweet corn back there coming on. I mean, we have a lot of stuff that's staged out so that uh, as time goes on, it's not piling all in on us all at once. It's kind of staged to a point where we just take a little bit, and then a little bit, and then a little bit. And the carrots will probably go all summer. Uh, the multiplying onions will go all summer. We'll probably harvest the garlic. It'll be over with when we harvest it, but we'll be able to use it all summer. Then when we dig the potatoes, uh, we will have them in storage and we'll be able to use them all summer long into the winter months. Uh, that's the system that we choose to use here at Pecan Grove. Thank you guys for Pecan Grove. y'all are waiting. I know y'all gonna go wacky over this stuff. They love, I've been eating sweet potatoes all morning. I gave them sweet potatoes early this morning. All right, girl. Come on, hen. Come on, get up here. I gave her sweet potatoes early this morning. I gave him a sweet potato early this morning, but he likes, he likes those things to chew on. Oh, it's something about that earthy smell of him being a boy. He did, look, he'll rub his head on it and all kinds of stuff. All right. Now, what is all this noise about? Huh? What's all this noise about? Okay, he says, yep, I'll take it. Mr. Duke. Mr. Duke. Candy said, move out the way. Move out the way, she said. That's a dupe. Now, you, you just a... Come on here, Hadassah. <laughs> She's going to get your fingers. <laughs> get my hand. That's what happens when you got too many of them. Give Duke something. He said, Duke. try carrots. See them. Oh, man. Mr. Duke. Candy said, Candy. get out the way. She don't run people off. You'll eat carrots. I know you will. Miss Dolly, do you eat carrots? Huh? Y'all, y'all would eat the floor if it wasn't attached to the barn. It says green. You're my baby, ain't you? Huh? He said, "Keep feeding. Don't move." <laughs> I can, I could, I could lure you anywhere with food, can't I? Okay, we've given you enough. The other says, "Where's ours?" Y'all, I'm sorry. Mr. Duke is just a bully. He won't let y'all have nothing. Yeah, that sad just look. A bully. You just, I know the sad look. I know how it is. Yeah. You just sad, sad, sad look.
She's eating on her little She's peeing right now. But. Stuff, and then Danny's got greens in there where they can pull them in. Yep. She likes her sweet potatoes, don't she? She likes her carrots, too. She pulls them in one by one, the stems. I've learned how to put them in there where she'll get them. You come back this afternoon, there won't be nothing in there. She'll be eating them all. 